Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I am stepping up my game. I took the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 color sorter project and I am bumping it up now to an M&M sorter. And you can see my mad laboratory here. So here is my thinking with this color sorter. It normally, in the regular program, would sort these colored pieces right here. But I thought, you know what? I asked my students all the time, how can we take the projects that we learn and build from and actually apply it to real life? And they always tell me, Mr. You know, if it, it can sort colors, it can be, it could sort candy, it can sort clothes. So I wanted to actually give them some type of visual on this and actually see if it works. So you can see how I have been messing with these M&Ms. So here we go. Here's the first thing I learned. You may, you can't put a regular M&M into the sorter because they roll and when this thing sorts it out, it actually will sort too many at one time. So the first thing I learned is you have to cut them and you can see what I destroyed. It was a, an M&M Infinity War here. Um, but even when I cut it in half, I learned that they still roll off too fast. So today when I sort these M&Ms, I'm actually going to put one of these regular pieces behind it. So it'll actually sort the M&M and this piece, which will allow the colors to be sorted individually. It'll give this sorter a chance to reset and not sort all the pieces. Another thing I learned when I went to get the M&Ms, uh, Miss Hino, you better buy more than one bag because one bag only had one red. So I'm like, shoot, let me open up another bag. So thankfully I had uh, another bag to get this red from because you can see I screwed up the first one. I just shredded it to pieces. So today I would consider this a highly successful mission if I can sort just the red, green, yellow, and blue. So here we go. If this works, give me, give me, hit that, that like button. Give me a comment. If it doesn't work, um, maybe in the comment section, you can say, great job, Mr. Gino. Thanks for trying. So here we go. I'm going to start with blue because, man, this one looks like the most messed up. Hopefully my students are not allergic to peanuts, whoever this group is. So I'm going to put the blue in like that. Then I'm going to, then I'm going to go yellow. And then I will put this yellow piece behind it. So now that's the way it looks. Then I'm going to go green. So yeah, my students will have to figure out how do you sort candy that rolls so easily? Because man, these M&Ms just rolled really quick. And then lastly, the red. And that's actually your like color sensor actually picks up your finger as red if you did not know that. And we'll just for good measure, whoops, we'll just put that behind the red one. So this is what my lineup looks like. So here we go. Whoa. All right. So Mr. Hino, did this work? Um, not completely. So you get to see what would be in the blooper reel. And here's what I'll do. I'll reset them and I'll come back and try it one more time. Okay, I'm back and maybe you guys caught the mistake. I think when I put them in initially, I had scanned maybe the M&M and the piece twice and I wasn't supposed to. I was only supposed to do each color once. So I did do a reset. Silly Mr. Hino. And now let's see if this works out. So here we go. I'm going to start with red. Ooh. Okay, so as of right now, Mr. Hino, does this work? No. And that's the beauty about robotics is you always have to come back to the table and see what we can do to get things to work. So I still have some work to do to figure out how do I get these to sort uh, better? Because right now we're still not getting this to work, but I will be back, so let's try this again. All right, everybody, here's what I did. Instead of using the cut in half pieces, I went back 
and just thought, well, why don't I just use the regular M&M, but still put those colored pieces behind it. So we'll see if this works. And again, this is what the robotics life is like. Trial and error, you mess up, you go back and see if you can fix stuff. So let's see if it can happen this time. And I have my camera mounted so I can actually hold the cups the way they are. Let me move it this way. All right, so here we go. Okay, so let's see how things went. We still got too many there. Hey, we did get some of the right things in the right places. So I'm gonna try this one last time. Please root for me, here we go. Okay, this is my last shot, so please root for me. I re-put all or scanned all the colors back in again. It does definitely depend on uh, the way you might place it in the sorter. Definitely when you start putting a lot of pressure, this uh, first one's gonna wanna go like gangbusters. So I tried to place it so that it didn't roll that great. Cause right now there's a lot of pressure from all the M&Ms and these pieces pushing down. So this first one has the tendency to release the most colors, but we'll try it again. So here we go. Blue is gonna be first and it should be this cup right here. Oh, it released a little early. Come on, do green. Yeah, okay. So yellow definitely, well, let's check it out. Um, we lost a red there. I, I think I might have just been too slow. Oh, there's one of the reds. So we did do a little better. And no, I'm not going to put you through a million of these experiments I'll continue to work on this until we get this right. But right now, that's not too bad. As the M&M sorter, um, it's, it's doing pretty good. It's not perfect, and I don't know. I guess in robotics, not a lot of times are you completely perfect, but we came close. So, all right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Lego Robotics. I'm out.